Um, let me take you to the presidential election, sir. Um, you worked under the current candidate for APC, Ashiwa Jubolak Metinubu, and there are obvious, like I said, a lot of Nigerians feel like there's options. Um, we have options and we feel displeased with the current administration because of some of the policies carried out. What would you say are the chances of um, Ashiwa, Ashiwa Jubolak Metinubu winning this election at this point in time? Well, I mean, uh, again, I think Nigerians must look at three things. For me, what have you done? What is your capacity? Mm. And your, what is your network? The network is, how are you able to assemble people across this country mm. that can do the job for you? The, the, look, the reality is that if you are a governor, or a president, nobody plans to fail. Nobody, there is nobody that says, I will become a governor and go and fail. It is the capability that becomes a problem mm. when you get there. And then the ability to have a vision and stay with it and be bold. So that's why you see that in other parts of the world, let's look at United Kingdom, everywhere that we all say. All the prime ministers of UK, look at the school they went to. Go and check it. Boris, Boris Johnson, Cambridge. Mm. So now, go, and, go and look at it. So capability to actually assimilate things is very important. What have you done in terms of your work? So for me, honestly, it's a very easy decision for me. And I'm not biased because I will tell you a story. When I joined this cabinet, I joined this cabinet because it had haunted me. I was working with Morgan Stanley and they came over there to do mortgages. I was the only black man in the room. And they said, which I'm that is yours. Said, what are you doing here? Bah? What were you doing here when you were here too? <laughs> no, so we, we engaged in, and then they were doing Oracle. At that time, at that time, the state of New York have not started Oracle. Hmm. The state of New York started Oracle in 2012. At that time, Nike was doing Oracle. They spent $17 million. We all know Nike. They canceled it. At that time, the success rate of implementing ERP, which Oracle is part of, mm. is 10% globally. Meaning only 10 will start within budget and within time. Lagos State was able to implement it. That's why you don't hear ghost worker. During implementation, we even know of ghost level. Mm. Ghost level. That's why we're able to do that. So automating the process of Lagos. So people say the IGR went up. It didn't just go up. It went up because of automation. Mm. If we are all friends, we can't do the same thing the same way. But technology allows you to automate your process. It allows you to repeat it. It allows you to predict it. That's what he has done in Lagos. So now today, various states are doing the same thing. They, they, they came to Lagos to come and learn. Fine. But so in terms of capability, all of them have been in positions. Uh, Abubakar Atiku has been vice president. Uh, Mr. Obi has been governor. Uh, Ashwaju has been governor. Kokonso has been governor. Let's look at the records. So we shouldn't be sentimental as a people. If not, we will, we will miss it. And I pray we don't miss it. So the question is, what have you done? The governor of Anambra State today, Mr. Soludo, went to the VP to say 40% of my state is under erosion. We all did geography. Did the erosion start in one day? So which means the people behind did not see the future. But how do you then compare that with somebody that saw a co-Atlantic? When Victoria Island will have disappeared? Victoria Island will have disappeared. Because at the time that they build the, the Tinkan Island, they use three molds. Each mold is about six floors to build that in Canada in 1906. And we never, as a people, went back to take care of it. So erosion. Because when we're in primary school, when we go to Babish, you walk about two kilometers. Miss so the idea <laughs> of Eco Atlantic is to take it back mm. to where its natural cost was. Mm. And that was it. Federal government was pumping sand every year and it's washing away. 1.5 billion it will just go away because the ocean will take over. Somebody said, no, what is the problem? They said, the pro okay, in that case, we must cons convert this liability to assets. Yeah. What do we need to do 
We need to develop, build groins like they do everywhere. And that was it. So, to, so, to compare somebody like that, that has the vision to say, when it started Lekki, we were talking about land. When it started the Lekki free trade zone, the MD of, our MD was killed yes. by the locals mm. because they didn't want to give the land. We said, look, it's better for you. What are you doing with this land? Now they have 5% stake in that yes. land. Today is the highest industrial place in our country. Today you have the port there. Three times the size of Apapa and Tenkan. Three times the size. It's the, the, our port in Nigeria has become a transshipment port because it's not deep. So they will stay in the middle of the ocean and then they will be using small to come and carry. Mm. So ships that are supposed to come, discharge within a week, they stay three months. Mm. Wow. So it doesn't make sense for them to come to Nigeria. They were going to Togo, for God's sake. Now, with Lekki Seaport, you can, any ship can come there today. Mm. Somebody has that thought. So mm. how do you compare a lion to a goat? It does, you know, it's, it's scary for me that we... There's even a conversation. That we don't see it. Mm. Mm. Because like I said, people have records. Look at their records. That's why we ask so that we get reminded. Because Please, we... look, let us... No, so I'm talking to this population. So... Look at the records. No, don't let the sentimental. This uh, is a Muslim. Also is a I don't care. Also That's between you and your God. What you worship is your business. It's not my business. Mm -hmm. It's only even God. I've, <laughs> have, have run the church, and I know it's only God that knows if you are a Christian or a Muslim. Mm. It's only God. <laughs> That's because deep. the things that people tell you, the <laughs> people that you think, <laughs> so no, let's forget it. Deep. So let's talk about the mm. continuity not... of this person's relevance in the sense that. Government after government after government within Lagos State still recognize all that you have talked about. And this has, on the other way, been criticized as Godfatherism. What would you like to say about that? So I recall, I recall during BRF, he, he likes Singapore a lot. Yes. Because yes. Singapore, a nation that has no resources, nothing. They imported, they have an agreement with Indonesia 100 years to import sand. Malaysia, 100 years to import water. They have nothing. And they've become one of the best countries in the world. Right. So it's knowledge. It's knowledge. Absolute knowledge. Now, we have a population in this country that has been getting PADs all over the world. So what is our problem? What exactly is our problem? It's knowledge. Mm. But we, we keep worrying about something on the ground, oil, this, 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 and we forget our human capacity which is the most important. So, when we went to Singapore, we met Lee Kuan Yew with BRF. The first question he asked us is, what is your succession plan mm. Mm. as a governor? There is no success without succession. Mm. No success. Because it's easy to destroy anything. Within, you can build a nation for 50 years. In two years, it can be destroyed. Yeah. Wow. And we've seen it around the world. Yeah. Somali used to be a fantastic country. Today, what is it? You can't That's even it. have this conversation. Yes. So the reality is, when people say Godfatherism, look, if somebody has walked a path, and I'm going to walk that path, I better ask. Oh, no. Mm. I'm not even to follow, but to say, ah, when you are walking this path, where are the problems? Mm. Where, OK, oh, there's a problem here. Don't, you better don't go here. So it's just natural way of living a life. Mm. Ask people that has experience. Even in MBA classes, they tell you, you must have a mentor. You must have a mentor that will tell you, you can't do this, oh, this is wrong. Because the problem in our society is sacrifice. Mm. Yeah. So a lot of people will not tell you the truth. So you need that one, two, three people that will say no. That's why Lagos State will have the Governance Advisory Council. These are elderly people, they don't need anything from you. They will tell you, Mr. You are making a big mistake here. You are wrong. So but you, are, you, you convince them, no, I'm not wrong because of ABC. But they will tell you the truth. And they are from different parts okay. of the state. So they will tell you, no, in my own area, this your policy is not working. Mm. So you need that. So the idea to say, ah, as a governor, I'll be told, no, that's nothing like that. Because you don't know everything. Mm. So you need people that will also tell you, look, you are making a mistake here. So the idea that, like you said, it was during Ashwaju that they, we started the Lagos Metropolitan Transport Authority, this Lamata, because they have a master plan to say they design at that time, design seven rail lines, the blue, the red, the green, whatever, whatever it is. You know, let, let me, yeah, because people don't realize, okay. Um, yes, I would like to say that, um, you know, having said all that he's done, 
in Lagos State and everyone is listening to you, what would you be saying to Nigerians now that if we have a Nigeria with Bola Ahmed Ashwaju Tinubu as president, what would you be getting? Maybe Nigerians should also see that. So the, the truth is this. Um, he's a fighter. So, and he has always fought for the less privileged. And I will tell you, the, remember, when PDP was in government, and he was the only AC governor, there is, was nothing thrown at him to, to come to PDP. They promised him the whole world. And he said, why? I don't believe in your principles. Now, he's a fighter. When he believes in something, he will do it. And why, why I like him is that as a commissioner, when we agree on something, it doesn't matter the problem you now confront. It will stay with you. The moment at the end, I, I will tell you a story. When I was a, a young commissioner with him, maybe 18 months or so, we were in his office, three of us, and we were arguing with him. A governor from South South came in, and he said, uh, who are these people? Oh, Bola, who are these people? I said, oh, this commissioner for science and tech, this, this, and that. Said, ah, so what is the problem? Let them... I know. So that's how we do it in Lagos. Their argument seems to make more sense mm. than my thinking. That's how mm. the man said, okay, we just said that. We greeted him and we left. And we can't. So the idea is he listens. Mm. The moment you are able to listen, ideas is not a problem in Nigeria. What I can tell you is that the human capacity of this country will be galvanized if Ashwaji become president. Okay. Listen, Nigerians are making. $200 an hour in the U.S. I know Nigerians that are doing that. How much is a barrel of oil? Mm. How much? It's whatever, and it keeps rotating. Yes. A barrel, you know, people make $200 an hour, Nigerians, in the IT sector in the U.S. Today, that I know, I know a lot of them. So the reality is, there are enough people out there that can really help this country. How do you bring them in? Not because they know somebody or because they don't know anybody. So that is what Ashiwaju does. He will look for the best brain and let's say, how do we fix this country? Let's sit down. So like I said, when he became governor, he has a master plan. He brought people together, all of them, experts on health. And, the, and that template, all we just need to do is to review it. That's why we do an Ingeti summit mm -hmm. every two, two years. It used to be every year. But we realize that because we make commitments, we must fulfill this commitment. So if they come in a problem to fulfill, 80% within a year. So we said, let's do two years. And people come with practical experiences around the world. So we need somebody that can really attack the issue of this country. And that's, that's the man for you. I like the fact that you mentioned that he's a visionary. But one of the concerns of many Nigerians is he's a visionary, but he's also growing to an age where he needs to rest. Okay. How visionary will he be when he gets into position and he needs to be taking rest back to back. And also, uh, you know, Nigeria is bigger than just one state, Lagos State. Absolutely. Yes, we have many issues in the country, many issues across cultures in the country. Now, do you think that even with having a blueprint on what he intends to do, he will be able to cover the needs of Nigerians across the cultures, across the states, across the local government. Do you think that capacity is still there, considering that he's getting to an age where he needs to rest? Well, I mean, thank you very much. It's a, it's a legitimate question. It's a very nice question. So there are two components to life. So as you also age, you tend to have better experience, but less energy mm. as you age. And that is natural. But like I told you, the job of a president, in my view, is easier than the job of a governor, in my view. And I will tell you why. A president has over 600 parastators. Let us look at a country that I just mentioned, Singapore. It's the parastators that get jobs done, not ministries. And what does that mean? It have, because they are nimble, they are smaller. So your responsibility as president is, okay, how do I make sure that I have the right people, the right organizations to do this job and monitor? Monitoring today is technology. So like in Lagos, like I said, we have a, a, a dashboard. So I can monitor the Ministry of Health. All these projects you say you are doing, is it being done? Where are we? 
So remember what President, uh, Vice President Atiku said then, that they spent $1.6 billion or whatever, and there was no power, because there was no monetary. Mm. By the time they realize it, everywhere is bush. <laughs> and they are, they are, he said that there was no executive council meeting that they held in the last 18 months that they did not give a power on power. But who was monitoring? They meant well, but there is no deployment of technology to monitor that. Okay, you said, oh, you are doing this. Those are the, the governors, the fashionists, the Sawolu that do well. is because they have a monitoring model. So Ashiwaju, we have a monitoring model. Now, if you read the Renew Oak, what are the things that is said there? Commodity exchange. How is it that we produce cocoa and we don't determine the price? We are stupid. I'm sorry. The reality is that our farmers do everything, but when... You cannot negotiate uh, better deals. Uh, you know, all these countries don't produce a, a single mm. cocoa and they determine the price for us. Mm. So let us have a commodity exchange. Where we, just like stock market, where we determine prices of like within products. Africa. Within, so we started Nigeria first. Mm. Mm. So what that does, it, it gives farmers, it gives farmers more, for their... more advantage. They know that their product will sell. And if you go to Taraba State, I, I served in, Gongo, it was Gongola then, Taraba State. Taraba State can produce rice in three months that can feed this country. I can't testify wow. to that. <laughs> no, no, I know. Yeah, I know. Go read it, you know. You, I, I've been to Mambila. Mambila. It's green all, all through the years. Mm. It's green all through the years. Well, that, so the reality is we have this information. How do you now get it done? Managing. So you need somebody that, first of all, mm -hmm. understand that this is possible. Well, because whatever you, whatever you can't see, you can't I achieve it. Actually. So wow. he's a man that can see that this is possible. So how do we now make farming easier? for farmers. What do we need to do? So those are the challenges that Nigeria has. And honestly, in terms of capability and capacity, it is important that we get somebody like him there. Thank like you. you said, the age of, okay, yeah. I'm sorry. As in, <laughs> we, I can't believe that we are out of out time, of time and you have shared so much. Um, thank, you for, thank you for spending your Friday morning with us on your view. And I'm sure that a lot of our um, audience have learned a lot more about this Lagos State um, administration and what has been done. And more importantly, they've been reminded about the achievements of Ashwaju Bola Metinubu to understand why he should be voted for. Once again, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> all right, that's all we can take on today's show, the last show for the week. We'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye-bye.